Moist heat kills microorganisms by denaturation. The hydrogen bonds that hold the proteins in its 3D shape are broken. The sterilizing methods in moist heat sterilization are boiling and autoclaving. With this sterilizing method, some viruses are destroyed and endospores are killed. Using this boiling method, there are three microorganisms that are killed or destroyed. Fungi and its spores, some viruses, and bacterial pathogens. Autoclaving is an instrument used for sterilizing solutions, dressings, instruments, and culture media. Take some time before class or after class to explore your lab. You should run into an autoclave. In order for these items to be sterilized in the autoclave, it has to have a high pressure and a high temperature. Now remember that some viruses are destroyed using moist heat sterilization. How are endospores killed? Well, it's by using these two methods, boiling and autoclaving. With boiling, the length of time is 20 hours until we see the death of endospores. Pasteurization. Louis Pasteur thought it wise to add mild heat to alcohol and this led to his conclusion of microorganisms being killed. You see, he saw the length of alcohol preservation increase and a decrease in the spoilage of the alcohol. When pasteurizing milk, a test called phosphatase test is completed. We know that the enzyme phosphatase is in milk. so. When the test is performed, scientists can know whether that particular batch of milk has been pasteurized. Thermoduric bacteria are able to resist the heat used in pasteurization. Usually, these bacteria are not likely to cause disease or spoil refrigerated milk. High heat short time is a pasteurization treatment applied to milk and is subject to a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. This decreases the total bacterial count and lowers microbial numbers. Through this method of sterilization, pathogenic microbes are eliminated. Sterilization. Ultra high temperature treatment is another method used under sterilization. This treatment allows milk to be stored without refrigeration, and we see this with the small containers of coffee creamers found in restaurants. Milk or juice can reach a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius with a length of time of four seconds in its treatment. This is a process of sterilizing milk. One, a small volume of liquid sprayed into the chamber filled with a high temperature steam under pressure. Two, there's an increase of surface area on the fluid droplets, allowing the heat to warm up the droplets. And three, fluid goes into the chamber to cool. Dry heat sterilization. Dry heat sterilization involves flaming and hot air sterilization. When flaming is used, there is a direct contact, and we see this in our labs through sterilizing inoculating loops. We hold our loops in the flame long enough to see a nice red glow of the loop. When we want to dispose bags and paper cups and dressings that have been exposed to harmful uh, microbes, we use this method called incineration. Incineration involves the use of fire. In hot air sterilization, an oven is involved. In order to sterilize certain items, the temperature of the oven has to be 170 degrees Celsius at the time length of two hours. Filtration. When we don't want to use moist heat, pasteurization, or dry heat to sterilize our items, another way is filtration. There are heat sensitive materials such as culture media, enzymes, vaccines, and antibiotic solutions. An item used in filtration is the membrane filter. Now, these filters have pore sizes of 0.01 micrometers. These membrane filters are composed of cellulose, esters, or plastic polymers. The membrane filter with 0.01 micrometer pore size are able to catch viruses and large molecules. Membrane filters with 0 
0.22 uh, micrometers or 0.45 micrometer pore size are able to catch bacteria. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air. In early days of microbiology, there were unseen pathogens that were able to slip through the filters and these unseen pathogens were called filterable viruses. HEPA filters are able to remove bacteria that are greater than 0.3 micrometers in diameter. Here are five questions that I want you to answer in the comments. I'll be there checking your answers. And while you're there, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you will be notified of upcoming videos that I'll be producing for you to help you understand, retain, and remember microbiology. So on to the questions. Question number one. What moist heat sterilizing method is used to kill endospores in 15 minutes? Question number two, what is the intent of pasteurization? Question number three, non-refrigerated milk is used under which treatment? High temperature short time or ultra high temperature? Question number four, what is the temperature and the length of time for hot air sterilization? And question number five, what does HEPA stand for? Now it's time to micro dump. I know that it sounds nasty, but please believe me, it will work. So what you saw in the first part of the video is micro mind mapping. And if you don't know how to do that, do not worry. I can show you how to do it. I'll have a link to my e-guide. It's a microbi microbiology survival guide, and it teaches you how to micro mind map microbiology. Ba, ba, ba. Can you say that 20 times? Micro mind map, micro mind map, micro. <laughs> so with that being said, I want you to repeat micro mind mapping over and over, dumping the information that you've learned in this lesson. And the next part of this video is testing your knowledge. Have fun with micro. And how can you do that? Well, what I've created was Wheel of Microbiology and um, Microbiology Jeopardy. So if you don't have those two things, then grab a partner and do timed flashcards. That is very helpful. And if you want to spice it up, put a little bet to it the winner will get a $5 gift card. The loser, guess what, has to pay for it. Sadly, this is the end of the video. I know, very, very, very sad. But it doesn't have to be the last time I see you. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified of more videos that I create for you to help you understand, retain, and remember microbiology. And guess what? I'll be able to see you next time. So. Next, I want you to uh, want beep, beep, beep.